G'day, Alastair here from LearnDelphi.tv, and in this video I want to show you a trick with the um, search and replace dialog. So I have here, you know, customer query and a bunch of dot field by name, customer ID, blah blah blah. And in here I I, I have I should probably be, uh, just surname, but anyway, it's example code. We have a bunch of persistent fields, so I want to change these field by name values to to the actual persistent things and I could do this manually you know something like this uh, oops I need to get rid of that so oh, get rid of the wrong wrong dot but anyway so that would work um, but that's you know a bunch of hard work let's undo that uh, I could be a bit smarter about it and go like this. And then I just have to remove the tails, so to speak. Or I could use a regular expression. So let's bring up the, the find dialog. And that's my regular expression. You see, I had a, a, a few attempts at uh, trying to work out what the correct one was. So I've ticked regular expressions. And so this regular expression, what it does is we want to start with a find. So I'm replacing the dot field by name, open bracket, apostrophe, and uh, to the end of this, this bracket, and replacing it with the contents uh, in here. And that's what this, this regular expression does. So we start with a dot, and so um, full stops are a special character in regular expressions, I mean any character. So we need to escape it with a backslash, and then we've got field by name. Uh, brackets are special, so we need to escape those. Um, quotes aren't. And then we have uh, a curly bracket a, and then a, a dot star to say any text and then a close curly bracket and then an apostrophe so that'll that'll find everything in here uh, and then we want to get uh, finish on the uh, end bracket now this backslash zero means replace we're replacing with the first capture group which is the stuff uh, within the curly brackets so that will be the uh, customer id or customer surname uh, or whatever. So if I go replace all, done. Um, and you know you might have hundreds of lines of code uh, that uh, it needs to replace. But yeah, there's this. It can that regular expression will go wrong if you've got um, something like. Um, It'll, it'll confuse it because we've got a uh, other way around closing quote and it'll it'll recognize to there and replace things but anyway just the algorithm being greedy or not greedy or something I forget the, the exact syntax but anyway if we go back to where we were there we go okay so <clears throat> um, Read expressions really powerful. Let's bring up a browser. So, testing out regular expressions and making sure they work is uh, can be <laughs> quite quite a difficult task. But I, I use um, regex one hundred and one, or there's a few others as well that allow you to do real time testing. And so I've just pasted that that code in here and typed in my regular expression, and we can see that it's matched that. And there's the first capture group. Uh, uh, in there, so that's that's what we'll replace with. So that's quite a um, it's a really good website. Um, I, I often use it for working out the correct regular expression because I don't I don't use them every day. Uh, so I tend to forget the exact syntax that I need, but I certainly be getting a lot a lot better at it the, the more I use them. And quite often, initially, the, the the time it will take you to work out the regular expression will, will be a lot longer than if you did it manually. But once you become familiar with regular expressions, you can do really powerful things. Um, with it. So this is just, just search and replace within a file. So the find in files, although it um, finds uh, regular expressions, and then there's, there's a new uh, dialogue layout, I think, from 10.3, but 11.3 rather, uh, possibly even 12, I'm not sure. I I have, I, 11.3 is what I've been using in my day to day work uh, at the moment, which I hopefully upgrade to 12.1, which is what this version is. But yes, it supports regular expressions, but you can't do re replace. You know, there's no um, replace in here, which would be quite nice. It'd be a good addition. 
if you need to do that i would recommend uh grip win as a free tool and i think i think uh file locator pro uh it's a commercial application i think that supports um certainly finding regular expressions i'm not sure about replacement replacement uh, actually notepad plus plus as well if you have all the files you want to modify in notepad plus plus you can uh do a re replace in all open documents with a regular expression so uh no notepad um notepad plus plus is really good i've been i have had a bit of a go at trying to learn ultra edit I have a free copy um being an embarkadero mvp but um uh yeah uh notepad plus plus is uh extremely um extremely powerful anyway so um other notes um this this uh came about um so if you go to my book code faster in delphi uh and there we go that's where i want to go so uh here's one of the uh very many tips in um in this book uh this is my book code faster in delphi which you can get um well find a link to on learndelphi.tv it's available on amazon and leanpub for the digital edition and this is kind of the uh using regular expressions in the search and place uh and it's yeah pretty pretty powerful um but the syntax is not standard uh, which is a little bit annoying it i think it'd be good to upgrade this to, to sort of pcre syntax so um do go go buy my book code faster in delphi you'll find hundreds and hundreds of tips just just like this one and it's, it's quite that a lot of them are like hugely powerful and i don't spend a lot of time on them just enough to explain uh, how they work so uh it's, it's worth thinking about each tip and how uh, <laughs> you'd want to apply it but anyway also my other book code better and in in delphi uh is more about writing better code so also i come back to the web browser uh so i so this is the delphi uh symposium a doug symposium um 2024 so i'm speaking at this and it is on friday the 17th of may so that'll be australian time um and yeah there's a a bunch of speakers i am talking on enhancing your application security and more than just the standard sql injection and uh and have you ever heard of csv injection it's another another uh potential problem um but also the, the, the fact that win32 gui um code is is completely insecure and this is really wonderful things you can do to hack applications using that um but i'll you know i'll save that for the talk so do do uh hopefully i'll see you at this do attend um there's i think there's a small cost involved in attending because it's put on by the uh, adex imposing the real real costs in hosting it uh, and that's sort of you know non-profit of course so uh, uh yeah do do register it'll be it'll be great fun um now the, the reason i made this video uh today rather than another day uh was that i got this email from ian Baker saying you know how, what a wonderful job i've been doing and i felt like i don't think i've done anything very much in the last few months and certainly in the last few weeks i haven't, haven't put anything up but um so i thought uh feeling feeling a bit guilty so th thanks ian uh your, your comments are, are very much appreciated uh i will reply to your email shortly uh, after this and yes it's uh it's, it's great to be recognized um the the this is quite quite a bit of work goes into making um these these videos and things but anyway so um hopefully i'll see you at uh a doug and in my next video do grab a copy of my books code faster in delphi and code better in delphi from my website learndelphi.tv uh, at least you get, get the uh in fact let's 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 go there so you know i have you know ads for them here but uh premium content um there's all my uh commercial videos and my uh two books are available there um definitely uh oh the the, the print version i need to update that is definitely available um from amazon uh so uh yep thanks very much i'm alistair and i will be seeing you shortly hopefully thanks for watching